Hi, I'm James Sibley, and I'm here to present about solar tornadoes. So, solar tornadoes are very different than tornadoes here on Earth, mainly because they're caused by electromagnetic differences in the solar atmosphere. Um, and as you can see here on this diagram, um, these tornadoes, they resemble those on Earth, but they're actually uh, filled with ionized uh, gaseous plasma, which is any sort of element that's so superheated that the um, the electrons actually rip off from the protons and neutrons, so they're, it's not like it could be like iron or helium, you have no idea. And so what makes these so special is that they can reach up to 3.6 million degrees. Um, they can reach over 125,000 miles in height, and the wind speeds can reach up to 190,000 miles per hour. Um, so these things are pretty big. Uh, some of the largest ever have been over five times the size of the Earth. Uh, that was the largest event ever seen. It was in 2015. Pretty cool. And so these are formally known in science as coronal mass ejections. Uh, it's when the sun, because there's an instability in the electromagnetic f magnetic field that holds it all together, has a little, I guess you could call it blip, and it's um, in like the whole the, the electromagnetic field, and it causes an ejection of plasma. Um, and because the plasma is ionized, meaning that they're cations, they're positively charged, as opposed to the negatively charged atmosphere, it causes this rotational pattern, um, which causes these really cool tornadoes to form, as you can see there. Um, and yeah, as you were asking, Ms. Rouge, uh, these are all taken <laughs> with uh, gamma ray filters because that's the only wavelength that you could see these tornadoes from. And so compared to tornadoes here on Earth, which are pretty much supercells, um, and wind speeds never really reach over like 300 miles an hour very often, and they're like 10 minutes long, Solar tornadoes um, can average about 30 hours in length, um, so they actually last in the sun for days. And what makes them very important to science is their involvement in the atmospheric superheating. So for a while in physics, there was this problem with the sun's surface is about 100,000 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, but in the corona, which is the outer atmosphere of the sun, uh, most of it is around a million degrees. And as you can see here, based on this like temperature filter, you can see that the, uh, the temperatures from the sun actually increase as you go out a little bit. And this was a huge problem in science for a while because they had no idea why. And uh, when they discovered solar tornadoes in 2012, uh, they theorized that these tornadoes actually eject so much heated plasma out into the upper atmosphere that it heats them up to over a million degrees. And through thir further analysis, it took them about three years to get all these calculations, but there are about 11,000 tornadoes in the sun at all times, uh, which pretty much explains why the upper atmosphere is so superheated. And so these can actually affect us here on Earth. Um, so you've probably heard of solar winds. They're what can bring uh, long distance satellites and probes up to like very high speeds. A lot of these are caused by the mass ejection of energy into the, into the space around the sun through the tornadoes. Um, if the path of the ejection from the tornado uh, hits Earth, they can cause northern lights to drop as far as like Hawaii in the States. Um, and other phenomena like solar storms, uh, similar to solar flares, they can disrupt with satellite communications, your phone, they can even like light electronics on fire here on Earth. So these do actually influence Earth quite a bit. So those are solar tornadoes, uh, and I'm James, signing off.